Dear invisible men, who tweet women endless threats of rape, who are you? Are you married fathers of two? Are you their work colleagues? Are you teens clustered around a friend's phone in a canteen or KFC? Are you pausing between texting your first love to go on Twitter, become an egg and post fresh hate? Where are you as you type this? Is your girlfriend asleep in your arms as you peer over her shoulder at your phone? How did this become your sport? You're not proud of what you do. If you were, you would not care who knew. This is strange. You proudly announce pride in your prejudice, but your anonymity suggests your shame. There is such an anger in you, and it cannot be clothed by your banter, by your jokes. I pity the mirror that has to reflect your misery, because it must see so much. Because the women, they are everywhere now, aren't they? They weren't just content in your beds, or in your lads' magazines, or in your clubs, or even in the eyes and the hearts of other men. The women are top of your classrooms. They are in your boardrooms, in your DJ booths. Swiftly, they are sweeping you from every single entitled stage, and the only place that you feel safe is in 140 characters, of rage. I wonder if you tweet abuse you will ever pause to think that, while you promise terror, the greatest fear is yours.